Hello everyone, this is Rashant here. Welcome to the channel. So, in last class we saw about the basic of the functions, uh, various uh, pa parameter passing and modular functions. So, in this video, I, I thought to start with the class and object, but before that, we have very few things we need to cover up. One is statements, another one is loops, the last one is string inbuilt methods. So, this three is very smaller, but this plays a very important role in the day-to-day -day basis, okay? I'm going to get a class, we go a little faster for this. So, one is statements, then loops and then is string inbuilt methods dot py okay this is the file okay so first one we start with statements first of all you want to know the statements so why we use state use statements in real life okay so the use of the statement is generally in most of the places we we need to justify judge like this true or false like that okay so in that kind of places we need to use a st statement like Suppose the age is 45. So I want to create in the age for voter calculator means. So this is syntax. If age is greater than or equal to 18 means he is eligible for uh, the eligible. Okay. Right. So I am going to run the statement. How to run it? You guys know very well. Python statement dot loop dot hyphen string dot py right see this eligible so if i give a 15 so what is happening nothing so you user cannot get the output so how to handle the edge cases for that we need to else okay i'm going to print okay not eligible cool right so this is how we need to handle the edge cases the next one is if else ladder so what the ladder is take an example i have a score of 75 okay so i want to verify which grade the student is okay so for this if the score is greater than or equal to 90 he is a comes under A grade. Take an example. He is an A grade. Okay. If he is coming between 75 to 90. Means he is in B grade. So, so how to do that actually? Right. So, if I put else if this is a Java manner. But how I use in Python? Elif. This is another st if statement. After the else condi condition. Score is if greater than or equal to 75. Then he is a grade B. Okay. Simply he is in a B. Then the last one is if he is greater than 50. So that's the last condition. Okay. That means he is in a print C. So this is the homework for you is like. So if I put another if else between more than 50 to 75 means how can we do it? Okay. That's you can take it as a homework. Okay. So next one is loop. So loop, if we saw basic of statements, so then what is a loop? Loop is anything going to be repeated more than once. So that's called loop. Okay. So next one is loop. So for this, suppose I want to print the number 0 to 10 or 0 to 9 or something. How to do it? For I in, we have method called range to 10 see here i'm going to print the number i so if i print i means it start from 0 to the range is 10 means 10 size that means it will go to 0 to 9 because total count is 10 it's always start with 0 okay so this is a number you can ask the question how can i print a string in a each word suppose take a name yes Ram, the so name is Ram. How can I print the uh, all the three characters R A M? So for that, in real Java it's tough, tough. But in Python it's very simple. Like name, if I print, simply I can print I means. See this R is independent A M. So I am dividing all three portions R A M. Okay. Next, we can go to the what is that? other kind of I, I add a number I add a string so this is the only loop no we have another loop called while 
So while is the similar condition. Suppose I have a count. Take an example. Count is equal to zero. I want to do five times counting. So how can I do that? Why count should be less than five. Less than five. Then inside I want to add the count plus equal to one. So you can ask what is this? So this is the short form of count equal to count plus one. So every time it will take the current count value plus add one. The short term is plus equal to. Okay. So I am going to print the count value. See this? It's printed from one to five because it adds zero to one plus one. It's print and next time zero plus one to one plus one two up to five. Cool, right? So this is the feature for while loop. I I am going to implement another one. So break statement because sometimes we want to know the break. What what is the use of break is to stop. Suppose when I get a a, I need to stop. How to find that? I equal to equal to a break. So this is the if statement. Okay. So this is called break. So what is the use of break? Break will stop if I run this means. See this only R is printed. When A comes, it stops. It won't go to next one. So this thing is a break. So take an example. Suppose you want to do the five times filling. So once the five times you want to stop, but your loop don't want to go next means you can use a break when condition met. Okay. So this is the loops and everything. Now last topic is string. The most lovable and most used topic. Okay. Let's create a string. So I'm going to create text of hi. This is Prashant. Okay. So first thing I want to know from the thing is the length of the string. So how to know the length of the string? Len method. In the len method, I want to pass a text what I'm giving. Okay. So if I run this, see this the ninety. Next one is. The count method. Count is most important because sometimes suppose I want to know how many is is there. So take an example. Count in the text. I want to know the count. Know the count of is. I want to know how many is is there. See this? There are two is. That means in this it has one is and independent is. There are two is. Okay. Cool, right? Next one. And this one, you, you guys already know the lower case, upper case, like text dot lower case. This will make everything to lower case. Suppose I have H in the I show. Then I want to make everything upper case means what I want to do? Like text dot upper case. So this is the one thing. So next one, very important topic. I want to replace. Suppose instead of pressure, I want to change the wrong. I want to do it. Simply print text dot replace. In the replace, I have two conditions. First is whom I want to change. I want to change Prashant to Ram. Okay. See this? Hi. This is Ram, not a Prashant. Cool, right? This is the replace method. That means changing. So this is existing. This is a new one. The next one is we go to the split. So how to split it? Split. What is a split? This is a single string. I want to divide each word as a string, like hi one string. This one. So how to? That means we can do in a split. So this is a names equal to text dot split. But in split we want to give a condition. What basis? So here we have a spaces, right? So I'm going to give that in this independent space. So in a single quotation, I'm giving a space. So if I print the names, so what will happen? So this will print all the what are printed. Okay. So next one, join. What is join? Okay. So now I'm show you what is that. So this is the split. How to join them? So last one is replace. Now join. How to join them? Simply join is equal to this is in whatever the comma is there test join 
just join whom the names so because name is splitted so then after that print the joins whatever you join right now cool right again it's added okay next so this two we done very well okay next we need to move to the next one so these are the basics of this one. and the last one is i'm going to teach you this is one a very cool feature like suppose this is a string in the string i want to see prashant or uh, hi is there or not how to verify i can write a for loop uh, in the for loop put a if statement like a hi is there or not so this a long thing right so in simple what i can do is text dot text in what hi see this false because this is mm, there is no hi because it's taking which take us we replaced so many places okay so last one is upper case ha huh, it's my bad <laughs> i want to replace vice versa in hi is hi in text okay now you can see the true that's my bad please leave us friend ho means right now what will happen to give false because there is no ho in the text okay so these are the basic of strings so if you have find any issues in this videos please let me comment me and these are the basics you want to know in tomorrow class i'm going to teach you the uh, class and objects and exception handling so that that is the three things and in the final class i'm going to teach you how to write the file read and write so if this is enough then we can move to the our apm okay so thanks for watching